members of the clergy, Madame la Présidente, uh, honored guests, my dear Ukrainian friends. I'm very pleased to join you today to celebrate the 23rd anniversary of the reestablishment of the independence of Ukraine. I bring you the greetings and best wishes of Montreal's Lithuanian community. Much has changed in Ukraine since last day's independence banquet and celebration. I won't presume to inform you about recent events or insult your intelligence with an amateur analysis of the implications of what has occurred in Crimea or Eastern Ukraine. Rather, I'd like to share with you some of the comments made by Alexander Turchinov, chairman of the Verkhovna Radna, Rada when he was in Lithuania earlier this week. He made the point that the situation in Ukraine is not merely a local conflict. And I quote, Russia's aggression against Ukraine is a challenge not only for our country, for the Ukrainian nation. Rather, it is Russia's attempt to redraw state borders after the Second World War. It is an attempt to destroy all the peace ensuring international mechanisms created by civilized countries. Today, not only Ukraine's security, but also the security of all of Europe is under threat. Therefore, resistance to the aggressor is not only Ukraine's problem. Today, Ukraine needs real assistance, including military technical assistance. He was asked why such military assistance is not being offered. He replied, my experience as acting president shows that many state leaders are afraid of Russian aggression. They hope to resolve everything peacefully. But we know from history, we know that the Second World War started with attempts to reach peaceful agreement with the aggressor. The existing situation is very similar. The same territorial annexation, the same attempt to reach peaceful agreement with the aggressor by making concessions. Ukraine is ready to defend its territory and peace in Europe. And finally, he was asked about the dangers of having a neighbor such as Russia. His answer is lovely. It will feel safe being a, an EU and a NATO member. Then Russia will stop dreaming of once again having some sort of post-Soviet empire that includes Ukraine. That will not happen. Ukraine is already capable of defending itself. And when we become a full member of civilized Europe, then a stop will be put to Putin's dreams. Thank you. Council of Latvia in Quebec and the president of the Montreal Latvian Council. Please, Mr. Kleiser. Mr. Chairman, Reverend Fathers, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for your warm invitation to attend the event today. It is an honor to be able to commemorate the 23rd anniversary of Ukraine's independence with you. First of all, I convey greetings from the Montreal Latvian Council, which represents those of Latvian origin here in Quebec. But also, as the Honorary Consul of Latvia, I would like to confirm the ongoing support of Latvia for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine. For territorial integrity and the sanctity of international borders are the foundations of all free and democratic states. Our Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Edgar Srinkevich, has been active both in the support of Ukraine and maintaining close ties with your country. He has stated that creating in Ukraine another frozen conflict must be prevented. On August 15th, a couple of days ago, in his address to the Foreign Affairs Council in the European Union, Foreign Minister Rinkevich pointed out that the European Union should continue working to achieve that Ukraine's armed separatist organizations, the Donetsk People's Republic and the Luhansk People's Republic, are put on the list of terrorist organizations with all the ensuing consequences. Today, following the celebrations of the 25th anniversary of the Baltic Way, which took place yesterday in many countries of Eastern Europe, our minister, our foreign minister, declared in greeting Ukraine on this commemoration that your freedom is our freedom. Once again, I greet you on this, your day of independence, and hope that Ukraine can survive these current crises and celebrate many more such occasions in peace. Thank you very much.
thank you, Mr. Kleze, for your kind words and for the deep support and friendship of the Latvian community and of the Latvian nation as well. With the Baltic nations, we know we're with friends always. Thank you. Ja maju veliku šanu i prijemnost poklekati do slova prezidenta Polskoho kongresu Kanade. It's my honor to invite to the microphone for a greeting Mr. Edward Sliz, the president of the Canadian Polish Congress. Mrs. President of the Ukrainian Canadian Congress, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, dobry wieczór. I would like to express my gratitude for the invitation. Thank you for including me on this important 23rd anniversary of Ukrainian Independence Day. I'm proud to represent Polish community today. I even like today give us the chance to reflect on past developments and successes, as well as current challenges. I believe the goal of Ukraine is to ensure a proper and deserved place in the European Union, so that may pro uh, prosper. Poland has also struggled over the centuries. Our path to freedom was always filled with many obstacles. However, we are thankful for those who had fought for us to have this freedom. I believe that determination, strong will, and support from allies, the Ukrainian people will overcome their challenges as well. The Polish community worldwide sympathizes with the Ukrainian people. Finally, to paraphrase St. John Paul II, the world needs to work together to give hope to mankind and attain peace. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Sliz. And we thank, this, thank you for the support of the Polish people and our community will forever keep in its memory the fact that Poland was the first nation to recognize Ukraine after its declaration of independence. Thank you. Ja teper maju šanu poprosite do čerhovoho privitu pana Iraki Gudadze, predstavnika Hruzinskoji hromade v Montreali. It's my honor to call for a greeting. Mr. Iraki Gudadze, a representative of the Georgian community of Montreal. I want to congratulate everybody with today's great day. Uh, 23 years ago, it's been declared independence of Ukraine. That's a great event. And I want to thank you, first of all, you to invite, for inviting me here. And on behalf of myself and my countrymen, I want to congratulate you. I want to uh, wish Ukraine all the best. So they have, uh, they uh, went through a long way. It was very hard, and it's still, it's it's not easy. But uh, I mean that uh, the, the fact that they are still fighting, and they are still resisting, it's it's already means a lot because even the enemies they they underestimated them. They didn't expect that they would stand that long and that strong. And uh, it, it means that they have a uh, will to go all the way and uh, get rid of those ties which are uh, useless for them. So all the best and uh, happy Independence Day. Thank you very much for your kind words. And I think if anybody, it's a Georgian community that can understand what Ukraine is going through now, having gone through a very, very similar experience in 2008 and a situation that continues today that uh, is not resolved. So our prayers and wishes are with the Georgian community as well. Lina, 
Костенко, бузиновий цар. У садочку зеленочку ходить вишня у віночку. Хтось її грає на дуду, подивлюся я піду. Баба каже, не йди, темні поночі сади. Там, де вітер ще рудить, бузиновий цар сидить. Брови в нього волохаті, сиві косми пелихаті, очі різні, брови різні, кіхті в нього як залізні, руки в нього хап, вони так і схопить з бузини. Я кажу їй, бабо, ні, очі в нього не страшні, на пеньочку, як на троні, він сидить собі в короні. Грає в дуду джоломіо, я заграв біт та не вмів. А навколо ходять в танці, квіти всі його підданці. Є оркестри духові, равлик павлик у траві. Є у нього для нас страшки славне воїнство, мурашки. Три царівни бузинові, кожна має по обнові. Не все пущі павуки, чуть серпанки і шовки. На цареві опанчі зорі світяться вночі. Він сидить у бузині, усміхається мені. Пісня «Ой на ой на горі». Ой на ой на горі, там жінці жнуть. Ой на ой на горі, там жінці жнуть. А попід горою яром долиною козаки йдуть. Гей, долиною, гей, широкою козаки йдуть. Попе, попереду Дорошенко, попе, попереду Дорошенко. Веде своє військо, військо за Порізке, хорошенько. Гей, долиною, гей, широкою, хорошенько. Апо, апо, заду сагайдачний. Апо, апо, заду сагайдачний. Щоб проміняв жінку на тюнь-тюнь та люльку необачний. Гей, долиною, гей, широкою необачний. Гей, вернись, вернись, аса гайдачний. Гей, вернись, вернись, аса гайдачний. Візьми свою жінку, віддай тютюнь люльку необачний. Гей, долиною, гей, широкою необачний. Мені з жінкою не возиться, мені з жінкою не возиться. А тюнь-тюнь та люлька козаку в дорогу.